Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsan ila yawm al-deen. Once during the, the aftermath of battle Uhud, Jabir ibn Abdullah was seen by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Jabir radiallahu an, why do I see you so shattered, so defeated, so heartbroken? And Jabir radiallahu an, he says, O Messenger of Allah, my father has been martyred and he's left behind so many sisters for me to take care of and he has debt. And so the Prophet sallallahu told him, shall I not give you some glad tidings of that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has met your father with? And Jabir says, of course, Rasulullah. And so the Prophet Sallallahu said, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has never spoke to anyone except from behind a screen, but he spoke to your father directly. And he said, O oh my slave, ask something from me and I shall give it to you. And so Jabir's father, Abdullah ibn Haram, he said, O oh my Lord, bring me back to life so that I can go and fight in your cause again and receive martyrdom again and so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says i have already decreed that once people pass away and come back from this worldly life they will not return and so jabir's father radiallahu an he said my lord then convey this news to those who have left behind and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon that reveal the ayat in Surah Ali Imran, وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ قُتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتَ بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ يُغْزَقُونَ That think not of those that have, that have been martyred as, as killed in the way of Allah. Don't think of them as dead. Rather, they are alive and they are with their Lord and they have the best of provisions. And in another narration about this incident, Jabir radiallahu an was looking at his father and he had uncovered him and he had seen how badly his body was mutilated. And the Prophet sallallahu had heard some wailing and some crying either from the, the aunt or the cousin of, um, of, his, uh, of Jabir's father, sorry, either his sister or from Jabir's father's uh, daughters. And so the Prophet sallallahu mentioned that regardless of whether you're crying or not, the angels have covered your father they have shaded your father with their wings they have shaded his body with their wings until he was buried and then the prophet said in another hadith about the virtues of of, of the shaheed and the shuhada they said one night two men came to me and they uh, made me ascend and they took me up on this journey to this tree and then they answered upon me they entered me upon this beautiful home that I haven't seen any home more beautiful than it. And then they said, this is the home that this is the home of the shuhada. And so how beautiful are the rewards of the shuhada? We all know about the virtues of being a shaheed. And the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in Surah An-Nisa, that whoever obeys Allah and his messenger, then they are amongst those who Allah has blessed from the prophets and from the siddiqeen, from those who confirm in the truth and the veracity of this deen. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentions that, that the shuhada are included in this category. So you have this amazing companionship with these, with these noble people from the prophets, from the siddiqeen, from the shuhada, and from the salihin. And once Aisha radiallahu anha, she asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about the plague. And he informed her that this plague is a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he sends upon whomever, whomever he wills. But, However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends it as a mercy upon the believers. And that if a believer was to stay where he is when this plague arrives and he stays and he remains in his land, 
He is patient. Muhtasiban. He's seeking the rewards of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's seeking the ajr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يَعْلِمُ أَنَّهُ لَا يُصِيبُهُ إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَهُ إِلَّا كَانَ لَهُ مِثْلَ أَجْرِ الشَّهِيدِ and, if he's, and he knows that nothing will afflict him except what Allah has already written for him. And he has this iman and yaqeen, this solid aqidah, this belief that nothing will happen to him unless Allah already wrote it. And for this individual that remains steadfast and he seeks the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he has that firm belief that nothing will afflict him except that Allah had already written it for him, then for this individual is the ajr of someone who is a shaheed. And so from all this, what we gather is that during this time, you know, the Prophet is saying, stay patient, be positive, seek in the, the hope and the rewards of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has with, with him. Wallahu indahu husnul thawab. And with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best and the most beautiful and pristine ajr. So we need to stay calm. We need to not panic while we're in this condition. And what this hadith also teaches us is that let's keep our intentions during these times. Let's keep them and make them lofty. Let's make them the intention that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards us if we're patient and we're seeking the reward with Allah, that Allah gives us the reward of, of the shuhada. So let's make that our niyyah while we're in this situation with this COVID-19 situation. And remember that your actions are based upon your intentions. So the way you act throughout this trial throughout this test that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put upon us, remember that to keep your intention for this, this reward of, of, uh, of being a martyr. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with that reward and to keep our iman flying high, and to keep our hearts tender and soft with love and hope in him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to use this, this solitude and this, this quarantine that we, we may be going through as a reflection and it means to draw close to him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you, blesses your family uh, with safety, with tranquility during these tough and troubling times. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reunite us all one day very soon, inshallah ta'ala. Barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.